Hi everyone, Tridhvir from TGT and welcome to another quick update video about Safari. In a previous video, we discussed about Apple releasing Safari 15.3. Now, on the very next day of the public release of iOS 15.4 and macOS Monterey 12.3, Apple released Safari 15.4 separately. Along with that, Apple also released macOS Big Sur 11.6.5 and security updates for macOS Catalina as well. I have made a separate video about the macOS Monterey 12.3. If you haven't watched it yet, I'll link it at the end screen and in the description box of this video. So if you have already updated your Mac to macOS Monterey 12.3, you already have Safari 15.4. It came preloaded with Monterey 12.3 to check, open Safari, then go to about Safari. Here you can see the version is 15.4 and the build number as well. But if you are running macOS Big Sur or macOS Catalina, then you should see Safari 15.4 as a separate standalone update. To check for the update, go to System Preferences, then Software Update and you should find the update here. For the reference, I am running macOS Monterey 12.3 in this mid-2017 MacBook Air 13 inch. Before the update, you need to close the browser and this update should take just a minute or so to install and do not require system restart. Just like Safari 15.3, this version also doesn't actually have any specific visible change. It's mainly a security update, at least what I have found out so far. But I will let you know if I can find something new later. But from the security point of view, this is a major update and fixes lot of security vulnerability fix for your Mac. Now let's go to the Apple security update release note page. And here you can see this version contains a number of WebKit updates for both macOS Big Sur and macOS Catalina and of course for macOS Monterey as well. As you can see, there was an issue in Safari while visiting a malicious website may lead to address bar spoofing. This user interface issue has been addressed in Safari 15.4. Also, it addressed quite a few WebKit issues as well like processing maliciously crafted web content may lead to code execution. This memory corruption issue was addressed with improved state management. Apple mentioned four WebKit updates here, but actually for macOS Monterey, Safari 15.4 includes 70 additions to WebKit. You will find this note linked in the description box below. Overall, Safari 15.4 is running as usual after the update in this mid-2017 MacBook Air 13-inch, but on Reddit, some users were reporting that Google Maps is running very slow and not loading the areas properly after updating to Safari 15.4. So far, I can't see this issue here in India, but do let me know in the comment section below if you are facing that. About the performance, well, it's as usual. As you keep using the browser for your day-to-day -day activity, you will eventually know that. In this 2017 MacBook Air, Safari 15.3 was running without any visible issue. But I have mentioned this earlier as well, pop-up blocker doesn't work properly in some websites with Safari 15. Pop-up appears all over the pages while visiting some certain web pages. Do share your experience in the comment section below and if you have found something else. Also, please don't forget to subscribe to TGT. Please like and share this video as well. I'll see you in my next one. Peace.